worried about them. I would worry about them more. But I agree with you that the, you know, I'm not stupid. The Islanders are a really good defensive team that can, you know, beat you uh, two to one or one to nothing. So that's a problem for anybody. I don't care who you are. Uh, they've been, you know, wildly consistent, the Penguins. I think they have the longest streak of playoff appearances in the league at 13. So they know what they're doing, and they certainly have the uh, skill and talent and experience and cups, the shiny cups, five of them in their foyer. They know how to win the Stanley Cup. I don't believe in their defense enough to give them anywhere near a Stanley Cup, so I don't feel they can win it. But uh, stranger things have happened. Uh, I've seen, you know, the L.A. Kings win it as an eight, so... Uh, I don't believe anything. The hottest team with the best goaltending and defense in this next two and a half months will win the Stanley Cup. And last year, I rode that Capitol team from the day I did the, uh, literally the day I did the NHL tour on CBS Sports Radio, all of our affiliates. I'm doing that next week as well. I picked the Capitals to win it. I think they have a good shot again, although I will say... Uh, the most dangerous team to me, uh, those teams that are dangerous, the Islanders, the Bruins, the Lightning, the Lightning are no joke. I mean, they can put it on you in a matter of five minutes, they can win a game. In five minutes, they can bury you. And I, I have to see it to believe it. The way they have kicked everyone's ass all year long in the NHL, they have obliterated everyone. I have to believe there's something about them that's just... They are the cream of the league right now, and they are better than everyone. They are better than the Capitals. They're better than the Islanders. They're better than the Penguins. They're better than the Bruins. They're better than the Flames. They're better than everybody. Let's see if they can live up to it.